Welcome, Virgo, to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits, but leave the rest. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Hope you all are having a blessed day. All right. Last notification. Okay, we have a new romantic cycle begins with surrender to the divine. It looks like things are happening behind the scenes possibly you're not aware of here. It shows me that it's been kind of stagnant, possibly a stalemate for a while. I'm picking up. Uh, things are about to shift. We have true love. This is a divine connection with get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Looks like someone's finally addressing uh, how deeply and uh, truly they love someone here. Looks like uh, finally seeing things for what they really are. Overall energy, King of Pentacles. This is about stability here, comfort, long-term security, but mostly King of Pentacles is a fixer, right? He likes to fix things, mend fences here, and make sure that everything is on the up and up, stable. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Wands. So you're feeling a bit protective over things in general, uh, possibly stuff that you've been building upon as well as family members. You really are the go-to person that uh, everyone counts on to kind of have their back. Uh, I do see this week though, you're, you, you have some goals set in your mind that you really wanna accomplish. And they're coming about a lot faster after this week than you would really imagine that they were going to be. Uh, I'm seeing in regards to this person, you know, it's like you have to keep your distance. You feel like at this time, because it's been uh, in limbo here, I'm seeing, uh, you kind of feel like you have to kind of uh, just focus on whatever your goals are and not really worry about what's going on with that situation. Uh, you already feel at this time that you've been successful in this connection just because uh, I just heard because I survived it. So some of you might feel like it, it's been really tough, right? And you've you've come out on top, even though it may not have been the outcome that you wanted. Uh, you still came out with your pride intact and uh, you were your true authentic self here with the Seven of Wands Cherry. It's almost like uh, you set your boundaries and uh, you're, you're really glad that you didn't... Uh, do anything out of character and you had a lot of integrity in the situation so let's see what's going on with your person let's see their energy this week so we have the six of pentacles the knight of cups the star and the queen of cups so if there's been no communication for a while, which I'm picking up, it's been left in limbo here. It's kind of at a stalemate position. They've been thinking about you a lot. You are constantly on their mind here. Uh, also wishing things were different here with the star card. It's almost like uh, they, they're starting to realize their, their deep, true feelings for you and how deep this connection really does go. They are definitely getting out of their head here and into their heart space as well. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Really hoping uh, that as they come forward here, because this is exactly what uh, they're planning on doing, uh, that they will their voice will be heard and, and been, be sincere here on an emotional level. They're hoping you might take their word for what they're about to tell you. Uh, this is showing up as kind of a big deal here with the Major Arcana as a star. It's almost like something that uh, was very hard for them to do in the past or just in general here. They're about to, do, to open up on a level that they didn't think that they were capable of doing. So because you mean so much to them and they do feel uh, truly devoted to you, in their heart space. They feel like this is what's needed at this time to kind of fix things here. So let's see what's happened in the past. Virgo. Seven of Cups, 
Emperor and the Knight of Wands. So in the past, uh, this person, you know, they did really kind of be in control of this connection. It seemed like uh, they're the ones that whatever they said kind of uh, is what had to happen. Uh, I'm not seeing in a mean way. It's just kind of uh, that sense that your hands were probably tied because it's showing from your side there's nothing you could do about it, okay? Because there's an outside influence here or something blocking in their connection with the Seven of Cups. They needed to make decisions in their life. There was a lot of things that they kind of left going on that they needed to leave in their life in general. But it's not just one, it's a lot. I am seeing there a lot of blockages here. That they just kept, you know, leaving it, leaving it go the way their life was going. They didn't want to really stand up and uh, pro be proactive towards change in their life. They're very much comfortable where they were at. With the Knight of Wands Emperor, you know, at times it didn't make sense, right? They would seem very interested in you, very, uh, you know, so passionate that they were headed towards a goal uh, in regards to moving this relationship to the next level. But it, it just never happened. It seemed like it was all fantasy, right? Because they didn't put action towards it. It was a lot of talk and no action here. Okay. So let's see what's going on in the challenge. We have the nine of cups, the fool and the justice card. So as a challenge here, you might be dealing with somebody that tends to go where the excitement leads them. Okay. Uh, they might be a very flighty person as well. I'm also picking up aloof at times. Um, they hurt people's feelings uh, on accident as well, not knowing that they do this until they find out down the line that what they did in their behavior really caused a conflict, okay? This is not just with you. It's, it's in their life in general. Uh, this person definitely only looked at what they wanted here in the Nine of Cups. It's almost like they were too good to be true because they kept speaking of things, but they wouldn't act upon it, right? It's a lot of fantasizing here, but when it comes down to actually commitment and being tested, this person would never make decisions. I'm also seeing with the Fool, Nine of Cups, and with the Justice card, this person can be indecisive in general. Okay, uh, they have a hard time really committing to one thing and it's like they want to see something for a long period of time kind of go on till they fully trust it and get completely comfortable and then they're okay to commit to that. And it's like the problem is once this person commits, they don't let go. Even if they need to leave a situation or stop doing things, they can't stop, they can't stop themselves or they can't. Uh, let something go that just doesn't need to be in their life. So again, it's like once you get in past that wall, it's like this person, you know, doesn't let anything go. It's almost like a collector of people or things here. Some of uh, you might be dealing with someone that uh, does treasure uh, material goods as well. Tell me the full card. Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, yeah. It's like, you know, they they feel like they can't they can't really commit until uh it's like I have to be dating this person for at least five years or ten years. You know, it's like this this schema that this person has, it's like then I'll truly know that they're very loyal to me and but it's like they they don't really want to be in a, a committed relationship though either. So it's kind of weird, you know, they expect you to be committed to them, but they don't have to be committed to you. And they kind of treat this, you know, uh, like it's a always a side fling type situation. But the problem is, is that this person can't let you go. It's like it's hitting them. Oh, my goodness. I I love this person way more than I thought I've, I, I've loved them. And I have never met someone that has touched me like this in my heart space uh, ever in my life. So it's really starting to flip, uh, the script here. They're starting to see things in a new way. Tell me the justice card here. 
Six of Cups, yeah, soulmates. This is uh, more of a divinely guided connection. So this was meant to happen on purpose, okay? There's a lot of lessons to be learned uh, and go through here. Uh, just the Six of Cups could be soulmate type situation, but definitely have lived, uh, you've made an agreement, okay, in a soul group here. And it's been many cycles passed over. And this cycle seemed like it was almost Groundhog's Day every day. I'm seeing that for a lot of you, you felt like, okay, here we go again. And there's to a point here where I seen your energy, especially in the Seven of Wands chariot, you got to the point where you almost became a little numb. As this went on for a longer period of time, you, you started to just know, okay, that's just them. They're just not getting it, right? But it was hard to kind of leave it leave the connection, but now you're kind of out of it. You're moving on, moving forward here, overcoming this, uh, this kind of push and pull dynamic. You feel like it's, it's such a strong bond and it was really hard to kind of break, but that's also a sense why you're proud now, right? You're kind of like, okay, I did it, you know, and I did it with my self-respect intact and I'm moving forward here. And if they want to stay where they're at, then they can stay where they're at. If they want to come along for the ride, then we'll see. They can need they need to come talk to me and make active changes here. Okay. So let's see uh, what action they're gonna take here. Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Death card. Tell me about the death card. Moon, Ten of Cups. So there's a surprise in store for you here. We have the four of wands, okay? And it's about the foundation that this was built on and wanting to start over, have a second chance to rebuild something different, okay? But it's a surprise to you how this is going to unfold, okay? Death Moon is getting rid of those fears and doubts and uncertainty uh, in who you were to this person. Uh, they kind of felt like, you know, the chemistry was intense, but they felt like, oh, you're like another relationship. I can eventually let you go because they didn't think that they were completely, um, deep, well, deeply in love with you, but they didn't feel like they were completely, uh, in this connection, uh, in a serious level. Like they didn't realize once they really thought about it and there's been no communication for a while, it's really hitting them. So it's putting an end to that. And what is hidden behind the veil is the Ten of Cups. This is the sudden clarity this person's gotten that you are the person that they've always dreamed of, the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with and build a family with here. And with the Queen of Swords, they know, oh gosh, uh-oh, I did this the wrong way. So in the extended, if this reading is resonating with you, we're going to find out uh, what surprise kind of unveils here uh, and what action they take towards you as well as uh, timing and outcome here. But other than that, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.